three biggest lead magnet mistakes. Do you have a lead magnet? Keep on watching this video. At the end of this video, you will learn three biggest mistakes that coaches and entrepreneurs make when it comes to promoting their lead magnet. Hi, I'm Karma Hunter. I'm the owner of Karma DNA. I help coaches, freelancers, and online entrepreneurs get clients consistently without the social media burnout so that they can scale with evergreen systems and strategies. I post weekly content about online marketing, coaching, and entrepreneurship. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon to receive the latest updates on my videos. Don't forget to check out the description in my videos for some really valuable freebies. Today I want to talk about the three biggest mistakes that coaches and entrepreneurs make when it comes to promoting their lead magnet. A lead magnet is a free valuable piece of content that you give in exchange of your audience's email addresses. If you've been following me, you know I'm big on building an email list and growing an email list. And you can find a bunch of different videos that I have made about how to build an email list um, and how to grow your email list in my other videos. Let's look at these three mistakes. The number one mistake is bringing irrelevant traffic. Mistake number one. Traffic you're bringing to your email list is not relevant. Think about this. If your services are for females, you don't really need a bunch of males that will not be interested in your services, right? So doing follow for follows or click for clicks and leaving your um, URL in a bunch of different places does not really help you in the long run. Why? Because a bunch of people may click on that link, but that doesn't mean that they're gonna sign up to your email list. So this is gonna bring your conversion rate down. In this context, conversion rate is people who come to your page versus people who actually sign up. So if we're thinking about that conversion rate, then we want more relevant people to come to our page to get our lead magnet. So make sure your traffic is relevant when you are bringing traffic to a certain opt-in page. Second biggest mistake. Second biggest mistake is not being clear about our message. And in this context, it is what we say on our opt-in page. Obviously, if we're not clear about who this lead magnet is for and what it is for and how you can benefit from it, you can't really expect too many people to sign up for it. So being as specific and as clear as you can in your opt-in page is gonna increase your conversion rate in this step. So the second biggest mistake is in your message, your copy for your opt-in page. So make sure that is clear. And third biggest mistake is not having a useful lead magnet. When you're selecting your lead magnet, you need to think about who your audience is and also how you're bringing your audience uh, to this opt-in page. For instance, if your audience is busy, let's say they have a busy career or busy lifestyle, an ebook, a long ebook, may not be the best option of a lead magnet for them because they may not really um, be able to find time to read a whole ebook. Sometimes it's hard for me to find time reading a book that I actually pay for. So think about that. And also think about where they're coming from. Obviously, if you're bringing this audience from a book club, or if you're bringing this audience from a um, some type of app group that is for um, ebooks and such, then it may be a good idea. But if not, if it if it's not that specific, if they're not book lovers, if they're not, if there's no indication that they are into ebooks, then this may not be the best option for them. 
or another scenario, a, a live masterclass, a live webinar, because busy people are usually hard to keep up with their own schedule anyway, and a lot of times they may really skip or they may not really find as much value in, in, in spending their whole hour sitting at a webinar. So in this case, maybe you can make it a short training that is recorded that they can just click on and watch instead of a live webinar. Yes, how you promote in a live webinar is different than how you promote in an evergreen webinar. But again, you gotta make the best decision according to your audience. So in this case, if you have a busy audience, you may not wanna do the ebook or the live webinar. And instead, you can switch that with some templates or a checklist that is useful and quicker to take action. This way, they can have a quick win and they can see that if your free content already gave them a quick win, how about your paid content? Uh, they would see more value in exploring that option. So our third biggest mistake is the lead magnet and not having a useful lead magnet. And in this case, as long as you bring the relevant traffic to your opt-in page and make sure your message, your copy is clear and specific for your audience and make sure that your lead magnet is useful and valuable to your audience, your conversion rate of people coming to your uh, page versus people signing up to your email list is gonna start increasing more and more. If you want more free training on how you can increase the conversion rate of your opt-in page, you can go to the description below and sign up for my free mini course about writing a high converting opt-in page to grow your email list. Let me know in the comments which tip was the most useful for you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.